time now for Back to the Basics in Healthcare with Mal's Life Chiropractic. We have Dr. Harley joining us. How you doing, Dr. Harley? Hey, John. I am doing fantastic. I am so excited for Memorial Weekend. Is yeah. the official like start to summer? Yeah, this is. Well, it's the unofficial kickoff to summer because summer starts a little bit later. But this is yeah. like when it really starts. Right, right. So. And this this weekend is a weekend people go out and go boating and they go out and go, you know, doing all kinds of mm-hmm. stuff where they maybe do things that they're not used to doing. And that can also cause some issues, can it? Right. So this is just kind of a PSA a little bit about getting ready for Memorial Weekend, you know, being careful while you're out and kind of what to do afterwards. So first off, make sure you're drinking lots of water. It's going to be hot this week. Hydrate. Yeah. I mean, last week, last year it was pretty hot. So make sure you're drinking lots of water. Bring some electrolyte drinks or powders with you to help in- boost that hydration, <clears throat> especially if you're going to be outside in the sun all weekend. And and when she's talking about hydrating, it's probably not alcoholic beverages that you're talking about. But if you're having those, it's even more important to hydrate with regular stuff. Isn't yeah, it? make sure you're drinking water between those uh, alcoholic beverages and teas and coffees because you're like, oh, I'm drinking lots of juice, tea, coffee, all these. Like, it's not water, though. Those things can be dehydrating. So. Yeah, as we start getting into summer, this is always like the weekend that if it's really hot, we're not really thinking about how hot it is. So make sure we're drinking. And I'll, I keep talking about make sure you're drinking lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of water. At least half your body weight in ounces, kind of a minimum of 64 fluid ounces. Also go by, you know, pea color. If you're kind of darker, you need to start drinking more. <clears throat> That's what that means? Yeah. <laughs> drinking more water. You want to shoot for more like lighter lemonade because you're never going to look at lemonade the same way. No. But it's a good way to gauge how hydrated you are. If it comes comes out looking like coffee, that means you drink too much coffee. <laughs> I think you probably should be going to like urgent care at that point. Uh, okay, it's not quite that bad. You're but. severely dehydrated by that point. So no, water is a good thing. And and now, does it matter if you drink like flavored water? Does that change anything, or is that still probably just- depends what's in it? Um, if you know, if you have lots of sugars in it, or sugar alcohols, or artificial colors. That kind of stuff. It just kind of depends what you're putting in it. Like it's not the best for you overall. Your best bet is to really just drink pure, water. clean water. Just water. Yes. Water with water added. And then maybe some more water. <laughs> right. I mean, self- just add with water. Right. Even like seltzer waters, you know, too much of that can be a bad mm. thing too. So again, make sure plain, regular water is your best option. Very nice. And now, do you guys have special hours this weekend, or are you is uh, everything kind of back to normal next week? Or, or is going to be closed on Monday? Oh, okay. Yep. Well, I was going to say, I figured, yeah, Memorial Day. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, if you're out and about and you're feeling sore, achy, you know, make sure, like, I keep going back to the water, but it's, it's a big thing to make sure you're taking plenty and plenty of water. Last thing you want is heat exhaustion or heat stroke because those are, you know, you're more likely to get that in the future if you have, if that happens to you. Oh. I didn't realize that. And I suppose if you're out in the sun, maybe stay out of the sun a little bit too. To, to right. Kind of, Finding shade, wearing yeah. like loose layers to cover up when you can. Letting and telling my wife to let me take a break every once in a while from all the work I'm doing. Yeah, she, she makes you work a lot. <laughs> she does. But. Actually, it's my choice too. <laughs> so if somebody listening would like to connect with you, again, you won't be here Monday because it is Memorial Day, but if they'd like to connect and maybe uh, book something for before that or after that, how do they get a hold of you? Yeah, if you uh, you know hit a little too hard this weekend, either the weekend warrior projects, boating, camping, hiking, all that stuff, and you're feeling sore and achy, give us a call on Tuesday at 605-215-1785. It's better to get ahead of it now or even, you know, next week instead of waiting till your next big trip or the end of the summer and you're like, oh man, I really feel horrible. I should not have done that all summer. You know, shoulda, coulda, what is always a thing. Hindsight's twenty twenty. So yeah, getting ahead of your uh, health problems now, you're going to have a much happier, fun, safe summer. Very nice. You can also find them online, and they've got the, a link to their Facebook page there and their phone numbers there at balancedlifesd.com.